Alright. Hello and welcome to a game called Hogwarts Legacy. And let's just get started. Gotta look in my quests. Where's all this stuff? The moon stuff. Look. I only need four more, but whatever. We'll do this one, and then the one right after. This bastion is like 200, 292. It's actually very far away. Okay, not the waypoints. What are you up to now? Alright, here he is. Anything Rebellion. to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Sebastian. I won't give up. I'm on your side. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Let's do this. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. Um, hey, I want to know, but I, this would be insensitive, but hey. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? I am. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Mm -hmm. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Alright. Moving onwards. This is a bit far away. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Isn't in this uh, one place I had like, or am I mistaking this? Let me just check. I feel like I'm remembering something, but not much. Whatever, it's probably nothing. Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Addy, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. 
And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Man, couldn't we just shank him in the back or something? Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story. One I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. Alright. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Can I fly up? No, no, I can't fly, man. Alright. Ready for another stealth mission. Really flipping around. Well, that looks interesting. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Man, I'm being very loud. for some reason. Maybe I can pull it out. Dead end. Must be another way in. Yep. I know exactly what way. Also, it doesn't make sense that you can't use your broom here. Unless there's some sort of magic anti-flying thing happening. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Okay, I guess I do need to pull some. Do I need to do it multiple times? I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Alright, whatever you say, ma'am. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... <sighs> I hear them. You guys cold or something? Hi, Wing. Do you 
know that hippogriff. Get these things back to now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Alright. There's got to be a, another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Alright, the new plan is that we murder Harlow right here and now. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. We'll bury him in a shallow grave. Revelio. Is there anything interesting? Is there something here for me to do here? Yeah, I have no idea what that's for, but time to stealth it up. Gotta take out as many enemies as we can. Okay, how exactly? What am I looking at? What is happening? Wait a second. Okay. Oh wait, maybe I need to use the pulse, so... There we go. Got to use it a few times. Guardium somewhere over here. Wait a second. Alright, time to do this. Go. Not the safest place to sneak into. Alright, time to shank this dude. of other dudes. Should probably make sure my gear is up to date, otherwise I might get in a painful scuffle. Whatever that means. Though I did up I did put traits on these unfortunately. So goodbye to those traits I guess. Yeah, shank these guards. I wonder if I can just push them off. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Enjoy what? There's no one here. I wonder if I can just like run. If I run. Eric, dumbass. Level one more. Hello, Amora. Should petrify them and then throw them off the building. Oh, I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. I mean, she's probably in the main floor, so probably not doing too bad. So, why not her? Revelia. 
It's a telescope. Don't know how I'd get over there unless I could suddenly be able to fly. You're going home in a wooden box! I'd much rather a wooden coffin, but whatever you say. Someone a lesson! I mean, they don't even know where I am. I don't know how many nipples you can find down there. I do, I do have a knack. I really do want to try to stop it. So. A value. One guy. You can learn a lot from weather, though, can't you? It's not everything. Is that. Yeah. Wait, where the what? What happened? Okay, whatever, I guess. Avelio. It all worked out. Hello, Mora. Yeah, man, that is such a small window. Pavelia. Pavelia. Oh, look at all this. And they're trapped in here. It would be a shame. Also, did I? I wasn't paying attention. I, what was that? What did that note say? Dropper nose, nasal, giant purple twelve, festral hippogriff, and a phoenix. No unicorns? Man. Alright, I guess I gotta rescue these guys. Definitely not poaching. And that guy over there is like, holy shit. to sell these guys on the black market. Is there nothing else? Is that it? Okay, I guess. Alright, there. Smuggling operations have... or poaching operations. Not smuggling, jeez. Their poaching operations have been... Interrupted or something. I don't know any of the words I mean to say. And hopefully that hippogriff can fit in my bag. Is this a way? I think this is extra stuff. Okay, there's a note, gotta remember to actually read it. Alright, what's this? Wow, that's all? A scarf? And it's not even a good one. What the hell is happening? Wasn't letting me move forward because of the dang pawns. Moving up Can't wait to murder Harlow. Hi, Wing. It's all right. There we go. There you are. Come on. A lot more. Stop that! 
And they suck at aiming. Man, how'd she get on that? There's some other... Oh, it shows you instructions if you press that button if you ever forget. Alright. Speed up! There's the Hogwarts Express! Must be returning from an unscheduled run! Alright, let's crash into that train. Oh god. Ooh. Man, that smoke is probably not good for the hippo grabs. Is this faster than a broom? I'm not sure yet. This is amazing! It's incredible, isn't it? Exciting. <laughs> oh, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? that Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Man, that guy just walked by and he's like, ah, nothing out of the ordinary. What the hell am I looking at? What did, what did I unlock? What the hell is happening? Flying mounts unavailable. Well, I unlocked a bunch of stuff that I don't know what I do here. Well, whatever. What is actually my inventory? Uh, Sepulcheria. Actually, oh, Cal Caligo and Highwing. Highwing is a female. Huh. Okay, I should go and drop off what I. Or, actually, what is that? There's a. Oh, that's another Natty quest. I already got a bunch of quests out. Oh, and I need to speak to Deke anyway, so I was gonna go to drop off the animals, but now I can go and speak to Deke as well. Uh, room of requirement, go! I can probably stock up on my plants I as well. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. 
He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Alrighty. I don't need any of When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Yeah, once I finish this stuff. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Whatever you guys say. Yeah, look at this. Actually, I need to... Man, I forgot. I need to go to... Um, well, first I needed to go and sell these guys, but that's besides the point. Wait, what, what are you talking about? I want to... I want to throw these guys in here. Wait, what if I... Move to inventory? Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. What do you mean, species limit? Wait a second, let me back everything out. Okay. Another highway. So, job or no? Wait a second, what? Wait a second, it's telling me. I'll look after you. So I put this guy in. Species limit reached. What does that even mean? Species. Oh, species. Ah oh, man, I can only why. How do I make more space for my animals? What? Here, have some food. And you too, you weird looking thing. Here, take this. I like them apples. And you, take that. What is that, more? There's one more thing. Where did the other thing go? Revenia. Oh, he's right here. Take this. And then take this. And how about some of this? And you too. And you as well. I think I can collect them once I... Whoops. Collect this. You guys could... Wait a second. Give me that. And the bird, too. No, the bird. The bird. There we go. Alright, I think I need to go to the pet store so I can increase my available things and stuff. That store is where the unicorn horn, and also there's something here: goblin and honks me. So wait a minute here. Go over there. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmead. And then I'll sell my extra animals, leaving behind only the few, maybe a pair of unique ones. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Duracore feather, it doesn't half hurt. Revelio. Sir, what was that? Okay, oh, here it is. Yep. Oh wait, I should probably read that. Keep forgetting. 
I have a hundred locations, huh? Mm, the brood and peck. Oh, here we go. You got hello oh, welcome to brood and peck i'm ellie peck and before you ask i'm out of a braxton hair the lot of it was bought up by a trader in ottery st catchpole made me take it in person they did no care that i had to shut the shop apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat must have been someone from america no doubt because we don't even have a mia anyway what are you here for? Moon calf fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I mean... I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of Thwopper Feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose, the cry on those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words, never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. You should have heard them. No. <laughs> Best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> Thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. All right. What do you have for sale? We have any... Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? Oh, unicorns. So there are unicorns. I am not looking. I am selling. So this is a female, and I need to keep one male. So I'll keep this guy. I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. So, what the hell? I forgot what gender the Jarpernol I did have was. Oh my god. I'll keep one male and one female, because I totally forget. One calf, male, male, female, and sell the rest. Alright. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. But my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Alright, so before that, I think I need to go to the scroll place to buy the spell crafts because I believe there is something for automatic feeding and entertainment for animals very which would be very convenient Revelio. the swarm of bats during the day Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Beast feeder. Okay, they got it. The feeder. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? 
toy box. Oh, plant byproducts. Fertilizer. Huh. You know what? Why don't I just buy all of these? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Oh, except I ran out. Whoops. Is there anything I can sell? A pleasure doing business with you. I mean, the arrow's going down, so I assume it's worse than what I'm currently wearing. Is that enough? No, it's not. Damn it. Dang it. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'll be back. Mark my words. Also, there's a side quest here. Always into a good side quest. What the hell? I just saw a friggin' pot with in a leg and whatnot. Where's the side quest? Ah shit, there's actually two side quests. What is this? Okay, I guess I'll do this side quest. Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog-skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. That's a lot of different things happening. A mooncalf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. What about a Biscuit? That lays golden eggs. Anyways, moving on. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep all an right. eye out for her. And be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garneth's moon calf. Yeah, but before that, let me teleport over here. Gotta make sure to kill all these poachers so that there's no competition oh, nice for to me. See you, my young friend. Hey, random dude. So I'm gonna stealth it up. I'm gonna shank as many as I can. And if I get caught, I'm going to start blasting. Poachers! Garnif was right then. I had better be careful. You can't even see me. You fools. You stood no chance. Just running around and shanking people. Okay, 
came right out of nowhere. Ah, Wigan, well, what a bunch of garbage. Turn my back for one second and what? Calamity. The very moment I don't have everyone here. Bunch of randoms. Eh, you don't see nothing, you dumbass. You just tell us. Your poaching days are over. All of your days are now over. Avelio. Pretty sure I already ran through here. Oh wait, I guess I didn't. There's no way I would leave a chest behind. Oh, laceration too. Uh, before I think about it, maybe I should switch to my bag. Hello, Amora. One of you is Biscuit. Wait a second. No, don't leave. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. No need to be difficult. I mean, you know. You're under. Stop it. Arrest the woman. There is no escape. Damn it. I have no idea who the hell it is. Stop. Arrest the woman. You know, I bet it was probably that orange looking one. Stop! Wait, no, stop! You're not supposed to move! Alright, I'm gonna make... the rest of them. Rebellion. I think they ran this way. I'm seeing three more in the balloon. Still two more. Arrest uh, up. No need for that. Let's catch them all. Wait a second, stop. I can't have you moving around. I bet it's probably you. Okay, I have no idea who it could possibly be. Wait a second, that's not the spell. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Take this. I'll look after you. Revenia. Okay, I think I wait, is there one more? The final one. Oh, it's Biscuit. Funny, you happened to be the last one. All right, Biscuit. Let's get you back to Gonoff, shall we? And also, do I have any talent points? Actually, did I level up any time recently? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, I did. Okay, probably not, but... Yeah, I do have a talent point. Is there anything...
Oh, yeah, that was one. Maybe Confringo, but what else is there? Hmm, that's interesting, but for now I will go for Confringo. Alright, now to teleport back. Hogsmeade, here I come. I do without her. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? We are both Biscuit fine. is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. Uh, okay. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. All right. But there is still one other side quest over here. I'll be right back. I have to do something. Alright, I'm back. Let us continue on. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But... I only want to help the less fortunate. Nice. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. Uh. What precisely are booba tubers? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. Okay. How on earth did you discover that booba tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure booba tuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. Uh, how are you correct? What are you talking about? 
I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few booba tubers, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Alrighty. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. I just walk uh, into the forbidden upwards. forest for booba tubers. Mm, I hope it's worth the risk. Probably not, but let's do this anyways, because it's a quest. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Can I fly now? Here we go. I guess we'll do this. Fly away, how do I fly? I'm still not sure if this is fast here, but I guess we'll do this since it's newer. Now I crash into the trees now. We're coming in hot. Oh this God. is where Sakurissa said to go. Now, where are those booba tubers? Oh my God, what the hell is a lot of blood? Revelia. Just my luck, a troll. I think I can petrificus him and then blast him. I swear you could do this, or maybe you couldn't. Um, let's go for combat. Just all around, also. There's a bunch of dudes fighting some grand uh, uh, troll. That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakurissa now. <laughs> Little 
while harassing them with plants. Alright, I guess that's it. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Sakurissa, I found the booba tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Yep. Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful. I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name. And you will have been a small part of it. Sure, whatever. So one of the other quests. Oh yeah, I forgot. I think I need to talk with Deke. And there's Natty and Sebastian's quests. You think I need to would like to talk with you when you have a moment? Yep, in a moment, D. <laughs> Still only four species, huh? Well, I guess I'll just spam a bunch of these. And the rest I will sell. Let me just... Actually, doing anything for them? Well, I'll leave and come back and see whether if they're ready for a uh, gathering. If not, then I'll probably still have to brush them. The Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. All right. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He. <laughs> Just 
interesting. Oh, oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave, and Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Sure. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Uh, let's see, before that, more stuff to do. Oh, well, this seems like something. Let me just... see if they are able to be materials gotten by themselves. Alright, time to help Deke out with his quest. Also, I'll probably have to keep helping him out so I can upgrade my Let's go fly, fly. Let's go. Come on, high wing. Oh, my God, this is bad. Fly away. Away, High Wing, away. Wow. Just flying through the Forbidden Forest. Top's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Oh, just let me down. Also, these moves aren't too helpful. Let's just do full damage here. And if I need any breaking abilities, I'll just use my potions and plants. Incendio! Revelio! What's this stuff?
Tops master is awful. Yeah, we should shank him Tops? as well. Tops? Deke sent me. Are you in here? It's probably just money down there. Huh. Man, he's probably got an eaten. Incendio. Hobbs was here some time ago. It must have headed deeper into oh, the hell. Maybe that's your dude. Man, the screams. Revelio. Incendio. This fire just for me now, I'd be dead. Small corpse of a house elf who's in a cave. Do to stop. 
Maybe we can't stand up. You know what, fuck this. I'm going all in. Did let me release the mandrake. And then even more. Chomping cabbages, go. You stand no chance. And the final touch. Spectaculars, go. We're getting do back. You could stop. There we go. That is quite something, I guess. Revenia. Yeah, I can't exactly tell which way to go. I think this is the loot chest, at least. Back down here. Okay, there's a freaking spider in the spider scene. It's still in the way. Okay, nice. Confringo. Incendio. Just making sure. feeling that house elf is Tobes. Uh, it looked like he was still alive, but I guess he's dead. Poor Tobes. Left here alone with the spiders. <sighs> I guess that was the end for Tom's. Is this a, uh, whoops, is this a uh, fast way out? Yeah, more often than not, when you're sent to find someone in games, more often than not, they're dead already, but sometimes they're still alive. You never know. Revenia. Okay, I can break into here. So it'll probably somehow be like an easy way out. That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Oh, well, that sucks. If you had just went backwards a bit, you could have. Or forwards, upwards? I don't know, if you had a ladder, you probably could have easily gotten to the leech's juices. Well, gotta report back to Deke. I'm sure Deke will do something about that terrible human person, probably. from the cave, Deke. Wonderful! Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. 
Well, Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> mm. I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. Yes. Probably to formulate his revenge against the evil people. But actually, um, this will probably be it for this part. Uh, 